Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. During the HAL meet with analyst answering to the question related to delay of LC Mark II, the HAL director Jadeva EP has said that design of all parts of LC Mark II is almost complete and HAL will shortly commence the production of prototype. The HL's engine division in Bengaluru has been identified as production agency for GF414 engine. The firm has reinforced its willingness as production agency to ADA. ADA is working with GE and US government to get 100% transfer of technology for the engine, after which the contract for engine manufacture will be concluded between HL and GE. HL has also assured that there are no challenges in signing off the transfer of technology. HAL has told clearly that all the firms who want to do business in India will have to do production in India itself. So HAL will be able to negotiate for the full transfer of technology for the production of engine in India. The fighter jet is expected to roll out in the year 2024 after the completion of Air Intech test certification in France by June 2023. Since the air intake of Mark II is similar to Mark I, the DID is confident about bagging the certification and ruling out the first prototype by 2024. The first flight may take one year after the rollout of the prototype. The fighter jet is expected to enter into production by 2028 if there are no delays. Now let's talk about the features and capabilities of LC Mark II in detail. The LCA Mark II is going to be state-of-art multi-role all-weather supersonic fighter aircraft. It will be 4.5th generation aircraft with long range and endurance and equipped with contemporary systems, sensors and smart glass cockpit. It will have network-centric warfare capability providing competitive advantage through networking of geographically dispersed forces along with multi-sensor data fusion presenting a unified warfield scenario with advanced sensors like AAC radar, IRST, Unified Electronic Warfare Suite, and Missile Approach Warning System. The LC Mark II is going to be much more capable than LC Mark I and other single-engine fighter jets in its category. The Mark II will have maximum takeoff weight of 17.5 tons with 11 hard points, where it can carry 6.5 tons of payload and will have internal fuel capacity of 3.3 tons. The Mirage 2000 under operations in Indian Air Force has maximum takeoff weight of 17 ton with 9 hard points where it can carry 6.2 tons of payload and has internal fuel capacity of 3.95 liters. At the same time, Saab Gripen E has a maximum takeoff weight of 16.5 tons with 10 hard points where it can carry 7.2 tons of payload and has internal fuel capacity of 3.4 ton. The LCA Mark II will have length of 14.65 m, span of 8.5 m and height of 4.87 m. The Mark II's wings have been widened so that it can carry Skull Bomb which weighs around 1350 kg. However, MK-1 and MK-1A do not have capability to carry skull bombs. Powered by single GF414 engine, the fighter jet will be capable of reaching maximum speed of Mach 1.8, service ceiling of 50,000 feet and G limit between plus 9 to minus 3.2. The LC Mark II will be integrated with advanced gallium nitride based AAC radar with nearly 912 TR modules. DRDO's lab IRD has been working on next generation infrared search and tracking system for Mark II, which is also called FSO or Front Sector Optronics IRST. This system will provide coverage of plus minus 80 in azimuth and plus minus 40 in elevation. The sensor will use short and medium range infrared waves for tracking target. It can track a target not using afterburner from a range of 50 km facing the target's front hemisphere and from 100 km facing the target from rear hemisphere. It will have a laser range finder and having a range or in excess of 10 km. The integration of the FSO IRST is going to provide this Mark II capability 
to hunt the adversary's fighter aircraft in silent mode or passively, which is needed edge in the modern aerial combat scenario in within visual range dogfight and is also effective against the stealth fighter jets. The LC Mark II will have unified electronic warfare suite with radar warning receiver, jammers, and dual color missile approach warning system. It will have multi sensor data fusion and net centric warfare capabilities. The aircraft will also have an onboard oxygen generating system, and pilots will not have to carry oxygen bottle like they have to do in Mark I variant, which has limited endurance of just 1 to 2 hours. The O-Box system on Mark II can supply oxygen for almost 8 hours, compensating the rapid decrease in oxygen level at high altitude. Some of the distinct features of Mark II is going to be advanced avionics with large area display, smart heads-up display, fly-by-wire flight controls with upgraded digital flight control computers and indigenous actuators. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.